Hello, today a small video about PowerPoint and Power BI. As a financial, you want to have your numbers in PowerPoint. Well, we used to do that in Power BI with the next few steps. We go, we did go to PowerPoint and then we said, okay, we want to embed an image. And then, okay, we want to have the whole report and we say, okay, export. Now, Power BI is making for each page an image and it's put it in a PowerPoint uh, slide. And that was the old way. And then you can put in extra sheets and then you have your monthly report. Now it's exporting and it takes a few minutes. So that's not very good. You can see now the Power file is ready and it is downloaded in our download folder. Just by clicking it, it will open the presentation. Here you see the whole PowerPoint, all the slides are added like images. That's not what we really want. And now if this summer uh, Power Microsoft has offered a new way to export Power BI to PowerPoint. Well, now is this, this the summer of 2022 and we have our month report and Microsoft has make it available to combine PowerPoint and Power BI. So let's go to our report, our monthly report, and uh, some uh, action and decisions uh, uh, template. And then, yep, yeah, I want some Power BI numbers here. So let's gonna take a look what Power, what Microsoft have built in PowerPoint. So on the insert tab, there's now in the newest version, a Power BI, Power BI button. Wow. This is uh, just in June or July uh, made available. Okay, so now we want to have our PowerPoint mm, of our, our numbers here. I make a new slide, I press the button, and then it's prompting for a URL. So we need to hop over again and paste our URL just here to see our report. We go over to our PowerPoint. BI service and here I have the URL I can copy it but let's do it like it's supposed to is so embed live data and also with the export we can choose do we want to embed the data filters we have selected on the fields let's turn that off and then we say okay copy copying it to clipboard and then we go back to our PowerPoint presentation the monthly reports and we paste in our URL. We push the button, we press the button from insert and now you will see the total report is in uh, PowerPoint. Let's get rid of the text box behind it. And it is also interactive. So we can go down the numbers, we can select something. So now we have our Power BI slide in PowerPoint. Uh, there are some extra buttons. So you have the filters on the right and also uh, some extra uh, buttons and options. And also you can refresh it. So we can get the latest data from Power BI. So as a financial, you make once this total report you add the slides with the numbers and the next month you only have to go and this button and go refresh the data that you have selected. Well, that's uh, very nice. That's something financials will love. Um, okay, that is, now it is not the end. Some financials or companies do not have the latest version for PowerPoint. So if you don't see this button, and just want to make use of the of this capability, then you go to get add-ins. So you go to get add-ins and you search for Power BI. Well, there are, this is the old Power BI tiles from a company that uh, made something like this, but we want to have the Microsoft. We're gonna add this add-in and we're gonna continue. Now you see the same screen is popping up. 
and we can also paste the URL here. If we want to uh, you reuse another slide and we don't have to go to get add-ins because now it's already in our uh, add-ins uh, view. So I know that Microsoft uh, has made some financials happy with this new integration between Power BI and PowerPoint. I also know that some consultants are thinking why to export to uh, PowerPoint. Uh, now, well, financials love to have uh, monthly the order trail of what is discussed, make some notes. After the discussion, just put the answers in the template and have an order trail of every monthly uh, discussion and meeting with the board. Uh, I'll also make a small quick reference card so it's in PDF. Oh no, it's in PowerPoint also. You can download this small reference card with the steps. I just make small steps uh, if you don't have the Power BI button. Also subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for future videos on this channel. Bye bye.